Thank you.
Okay. Let's switch it over here. It's gonna look different. Let's see if it if the uh Oh the chat is working. Type in chat, I wanna see how this chat thing works. Hey guys. A JJ A play. Looks like it's working. Cool. You can see the the chat right there. <laughs> and donations down here. Which is cool. Everybody's name is blue though. I guess it works. I thought I would have picked random names or random colors for people. Maybe I can look look at the settings. Uh, no. Chat box. Am uh, I making a barrel today? <laughs> no. Apparently that'll make my stream go viral though. Maybe. Um, how's my volume by the way? Do I sound good? Uh oh, that reset the chat. Now everybody's green. I liked it when they were blue. Does Tom Networking support uh, PC to Android local connections? Uh, I don't, know, I don't know, it hasn't really been tested on mobile, I don't think, by very many people, but it should because it's just using regular uh, TCP and UDP. Man, they're green now. I liked it when they were blue. It's weird that they're all the same color. They should be different colors, but the problem is that it's YouTube and uh, I think it's built for Twitch. More, so it might be a little bit glitchy. But that's what we're testing it for. How many people are here? 16 people. How's it going, everybody? Which networking solution do you use? I use Tom Tom's networking solution. Uh, links in the description of the stream even to his uh, tutorial series, I think. But it's a custom solution. No solution to networking, only more problems. Yeah, it does make a lot of problems. Stream labs. I'm just gonna mess with the chat here for a few minutes while you guys chat in the chat. Dude, when I was here, the stream wasn't even on. What do you mean? Love your videos, thanks. YOLO Ock. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Uh let's look for stream. Oh no, not stream overlays. All widgets. You can't see what I'm doing right now, but that's okay. Um I don't see the chat widget. It's weird. Oh, here it is. Chat box. Beam clean. Show moderator badges. Yeah, I don't know why it's not coming up in different colors. Uh, text color. I don't know, I'll have to Google why the, the chat is different colors. Weird. Wait, right now we're green. I like Photon, but I'm using Mirror right now. Yeah, both of those are good solutions. Maybe because it's YouTube? Yeah, it's probably because it's YouTube, but I feel like it should still uh, give different colors. It's weird. 
one thing about Twitch is a lot of these things work better with Twitch. What is Benji Vibes? He's a person who donated a lot, so thanks to him. Okay, so today, uh, I haven't actually really worked on the project in like a week because I've been really busy with school. Um, so I'm just going to do some coding on some stuff uh, where I left off last weekend, which I was working on spawn points i was kind of redoing my spawn point system to account for because during the play test uh even in free-for-all everybody was still spawning like all bunched up on either side of the map as if it was a team game mode so i'm basically i've redesigned it so that there can be free-for-all spawn points and then there can be team death match spawn points so they're like uh if it's a team death match spawn point it, it it's a spawn point for both Free for all and team deathmatch, I think. But if it's uh, if it's a team deathmatch spawn point, it won't be a spawn point for free for all, type of thing. So yeah, I guess we'll get started on that. I'll switch over to. You've been waiting for the stream since eight a.m. Nice. Uh. Switch over to here. We're into Unity. So yeah, let's go to the. I've been using the this tester map to test out the new spawn points. But, uh, sorry, this is the client side. I need to bring the server over here. Spawn points are only on the server. can go back to the network manager. So on the server, let's go to scenes, main. Yeah, you can see here. I've also put like these ghost player characters to represent the spawn points. But they only have one material. Like this is, wait, spawn points. This is the blue team. This one's the red team. But it still shows up as blue. I'm, not, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to leave that for now. I don't really care. That's just a visual thing. But you can see these, these, this spawn point and this spawn point has team spawn checked. So these two are spawn points for when it's a team game. Whereas this one uh, doesn't have team spawn checked. And I set the team to negative one. So it means that it's just a free for all spawn point. So, the other issue that I have is that right now, if two players spawn at the exact same spawn point, they like, one shoots up in the air. So, I was kind of thinking about how I could solve that. Yep, I guess I can show you capture the flag too. Capture the flag is pretty much done, I think. Except for probably some bugs with it. When do you think your next video will be out? Um, I don't know actually, because uh, I've been really busy with school. Like I said, I haven't worked on it in like a week. So, um, it'll depend when I have enough stuff to show and when I get time to actually edit a video. Let's just add some more spawn points here. And these are all team blue. One, two, three. Yeah, those are all team blue. This one here. Five. This guy not centered. centered. 
Oh, just I said it's centered. It just didn't look centered. Uh, team one, team one, and team one. Yep. So these are the red team spawn points. These are the blue team spawn points, even though the color's still blue. Uh, yep. So I'm just gonna test it a bit here because I want to make sure it's actually working before we go play spawn points in the. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh. I can't just start the, the game in this scene. Network manager, save. I want to test to make sure it, it works before I... add the, the new spawns points to the uh, other scenes. So yeah, new video, I don't know. Uh, when I feel like I have enough done, I was going to do another play test. I'll bring up my Trello board here. I was going to do another play test after I work on the shooting and recoil rework, which I might start on today. I'm going to do another play test and then probably after that I think I'll have enough stuff to make a video. Yep. Interesting editor layout. Uh, you mean like where it has two screens, this bar, and then I think it's the two by three that I use, but then a slightly edited version. Um, yeah. Uh, start this one. Kind of game mode is infected. Um, so I think that one's going to be like, uh, kind of like, you know, like zombies where two people start like infected and they have to like touch the other players to then turn them infected. And then they're, so it's kind of like a tag where I don't know what kind of tag that is. The tag game mode where you like, once you get tagged, then you're also it type of thing. That's the plan for that one. Barricade and Breach. I've kind of explained it before, but it's kind of uh, it's a game mode that I had in my previous multiplayer game where one team's like barricading a building and the other team's like attacking or breaching it. Do you know a good? A, do you suggest a good weapon system with that is reusable? Uh, an object-oriented one. Not 100% sure what you mean. Uh. A pre-made tutorial or something on YouTube? I'm not sure. There's tons of them. I know Brachys has one. I don't know how reusable it is, though. Call it Manhunt. You called it Manhunt in middle school? Right. But then, uh, did everybody become it when they were tagged? If so, then yeah, I guess it's Manhunt. Uh, back. Okay, this one's test. This one is... Gotta sign out. Okay, it's not working. I didn't know my own password, that's why. Uh, do do. Join. Okay. Okay, cool. And then join with this guy. Bracky's system. Uh,. Can't wait to start making games. Is it good? It's it is good but difficult for good animations through network. Um, I mean my animations are pretty good through the network. I think they're pretty good. Yeah, it's not like tag. Rocky system, so just tagged by the other team has guns. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're gonna have guns or not, or maybe only melee weapons, but then I'm not sure. We'll have to see. If the other team has, if the survivor team has guns, then the, the people that are it have to have some sort of like 
something that makes them, you know, a little bit better so they can actually reach the people with the guns to tag them. Uh, let's go capture the flag because then I can show that as well. Um, wait. Capture the flag set. Be able to walk in here. I should be able to start the game. I'm just making sure everything's working with the team stuff. Stun grenades, flashbangs type of thing. Yeah, I think flashbangs will definitely be needed for like the barricade and breach. There you go, you can see the flags here. Okay, cool. So he didn't, he spawned in this spawn point. Now if I kill him. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's bullet holes. <laughs> he spawned at a different spawn point. Okay, it looks like I have to... Huh, that's interesting. I gotta do something about the fact, because I added bullet holes recently too, actually. And I gotta do... Uh, when the... When the parent dies, I need to uh, make the bullet holes go away. Otherwise, they just float there. And add a coin system where you can buy it and customize your character. Yeah, I do plan on doing some type of uh, character customization eventually. COD, everyone has melee weapons. You making video for Unreal Engine in the future? Hello. Fateless. I've only used Unreal Engine like once and I like closed it after an hour because I didn't know what I was doing. So, but I do plan on using Unreal Engine. I kind of want to try it out. It's pretty powerful. But no videos on it until I get good with it. Um, let me, the game's about to end, so let me quickly. Oh, there's errors on the server. What the heck? Let's quickly add more time. Why is there errors on the server? Uh oh. Server handle. Hmm. Player in a list. I have a weird error. It means that the player list doesn't contain that ID. Huh. Anyways, uh, I'm wasting more time. Add more time again. <laughs> okay, so now I can show the flag stuff. Uh, boop. Get the flag in my hand, and so. Hello, Rush. I'm just showing off the flag thing here. Kill count. There's a scoreboard. What do you mean, kill count? Like total kill count? Yeah, that'll be user data, which I haven't gotten into yet. It's not sure how I'm gonna do it yet. Um, yeah, so I'm holding the flag here, and say I want to switch to my secondary. I switch to my secondary and it just drops the flag. I can retaliate, right? When I'm done retaliating, then I can uh, pick up the flag again, type of thing. So you can also just drop the flag to your teammate, right? If you wanna pass it on, so that's all good. Basically, just if you have the flag in your hand, you can't. You gotta have the flag in your hand, so it makes it so that when you try to switch hands, the flag drops. Because otherwise, the your team, like the other team, wouldn't be able to see that you're holding the flag, right? If you're able to just hide it, like you can uh, other weapons, you can just hide them, right? Also, if you have another weapon in your hand and you try to pick it up, it replaces it. Yep. And if I go grab it here, and I can deliver it still, I think. Yep. Just check the server for any errors. Nope. Console's clean. That's a good sign. I worked on this last weekend, so I can't remember how well I tested it. Ah, oh, dang it. The game ended. Throwing your flag would be op. Yeah, you can't really throw it. You can just drop it. 
on capture the flag, the player should be able to keep both the flag and the gun. Um, the problem with that is that uh, the flag needs to be able to be shown so that other players know that you have the flag, right? It also kind of makes you have to decide, like, oh, do I just keep running with the flag or do I drop the flag and, you know, go in for a fight? And, uh, yeah. Uh, capture the flag, start game, let's do it again. Because I want to show you that the flag will go back to... There's a lot of uh, ed edge cases, right? If you die with the flag, it needs to drop. If you disconnect with the flag, the flag needs to drop. There's all kinds of edge cases that I had to deal with. Um, so if I do slash kill with the flag, flag drops on the ground, right? And also after 10 seconds of the flag being on the ground, I think, around 10 seconds, it should return. Yep. And then also if I do this, and if uh, the team that owns the flag tries to pick it up, it also returns it back to its spawn, and I just realized it drops their weapon. So, I don't want that to happen. So, okay, that's something we can fix. Uh, maybe switch it to the left hand then. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but it's... The way my IK system works, it's not easily possible. Um, I could do that, but it was it's kind of a pain <laughs> to make that happen. But it is a good idea, and I have thought about that. Yeah, that would require uh, dual handing, which is uh, a little bit of a pain. Is the music too loud? It sounds too loud for me. What's up, says Rug. What's up, Rug? I'm just showing off what I've been working on, and... Then I'm probably going to be fixing bugs. What about the left hand holds the flag when the gun can remain in the right hand? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I, that, what uh, we were talking about. Uh, it's just a pain for me because I'd have to redesign a bunch of stuff. Uh, because right now, I don't have left hand IK. And you would have to keep track of whether or not the item is a left hand item or a right hand item. Ah, dang it, the game ended again. Could have it on their back. Yeah. <laughs> These are all good ideas. I just want to check to make sure that the flag drops when you uh, disconnect with it. Yeah, the back is cool, but then you can't see it. Yeah, exactly. People have been suggesting to put it in the left hand, which is a good idea. It's just a pain for me. <laughs> and I don't really know if I want to do that. Um, yeah, if I have the flag here and I... Let's get the other player over here. Let's, uh, who is that? Slash kick. Slash kick. Test. Yeah, flag drops. That's good. And then they can return it. I gotta fix that though, the gun shouldn't drop when you return the flag. Gotta fix that. Ignoring me? Make Making a flag shadow. Sorry, I just missed your comment. I wasn't ignoring you. Um, yeah, you're right, the flag doesn't have a shadow. I wondered that too. I think it has something to do with the material. Uh, where's the actual model? There it is. A little bit. Uh, opaque. Yeah, it's because it's transparent. And do transparent materials have the option for a shadow? The 
the gun shouldn't move when you move the camera up and down. Yeah, I know everybody says that. But it's the way that my um it's the way that my rig works that it's literally attaching the gun to your hand. So it does move up and down. And it's actually more realistic. It's just you guys are so used to the way FPF games fake first person guns that the gun is literally locked right to the camera. But the way mine's set up is it's not locked right to the camera. It's more locked to the... The, uh... I guess I can just show it. But it's more locked to the movement of your hands. Uh... Or hold the red flag 5-6 to return it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. For now, though, the instant click just works, and then I can add that with some polish. Okay, um, so let's see if we can figure out why slash uh, why um, when you return the flag, it's dropping your item. Let's start with that. How do you attach their weapon to the character's hand? I'm using uh, inverse kinematics. So uh, the hand actually tracks the weapon. What? Where's the other player? Oh, they're over here. I'm blind. So here's the problem that we're going to fix, hopefully. When I go to pick this up, it drops my gun instead of keeping it because it thinks it's going to pick up the flag, but it's really returning it. So i got to figure out what that is. And I messed up the material. Um, materials. Transparent. I'm not sure how to make these have shadows. I need to look into it. Uh, yeah, because they're transparent materials. So I'm not sure if they can even have my sh shadows. I might need to make my own uh, shader. When testing is out, what do you mean by that? When's the next test? Uh, when I'm when it's ready. That's all I can tell you. I don't have a strict schedule. I just work on this when I can. So. Uh, okay. Leave. Quit. Okay. So, let's take a look at where that is called. Oh, why is my mouse doing that? Um, like spawner. So, I think the spawn points are good. So let's just close these. Flag. Here we go. Uh, here. So if it's picked up, if if it's not the team, it does the normal pick up. This is where if it's the same team as the flag. Do you like football, soccer? Yeah, I played soccer in high school, and uh, I played like I don't know what you call it, like city soccer, local local town soccer, in like elementary school. Can anybody participate in the test? Yeah, you just gotta get the just grab the role in the Discord server so that you're notified about it, and then anybody anybody's allowed to. The only thing is, it's only for Windows right now. Uh, because I don't really want to mess with making other builds right now. Uh, just turning up my lights here. There we go. Um, okay. Hey, Sal is here. Welcome. You just missed showing off the recent updates and the bugs that I'm going to be trying to fix. So now you're staring at code. <laughs> um, okay, so where were we? How do you get good at code? Just uh, 
I mean, I took lots of courses on coding, but also just watching lots of YouTube videos and messing around, you get you tend to get good at coding. If game manager uh, instance dot current game mode, yeah, 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 yeah. Just capture flag game mode, then say flag returned. But why would it be dropping? The item in your hand it must be something higher up so it's got to be it's got to be in player hands yeah right here so it's dropping the item no matter what crap drop item Hmm. I think I need to call this actually in here. Picked up. Uh, wait, what? Undo that. Flag. Picked up. Why is there so much less code in the flag? Oh, because it calls the base dot pickup. Okay, okay, okay. So we want it in here. We want it in here. We want to drop the item if player hands dot hands and player hands call that. This way, this only gets called if. This only gets called right here if it's actually meant to grab the item. Else, this is where we are returning the flag because we're the same team. So it's not going to actually drop the item in your hand because it won't call this. And that means that we should be able to remove this from here, which is good anyways because we shouldn't have too much code in here. This. Uh... How, where, what courses? Um, well, I'm in school. I'm taking, in high school, I took programming courses, and then I'm in university taking software engineering. There's lots of courses online as well you can pay for, or you could just watch free YouTube videos. How do you make the animations for the gun? Um, well, you just make animations for them. Um, how do you, how do you like play them and stuff? You use an animation controller. Staring at raw, delicious code. Yes, you are, Sal. Sal. How do you say it? Sal, right? Uh, game has come a long way. Yes, it has. Slowly but surely. I eat code for breakfast. You watch every single stream I make? Yeah, Udemy has lots of courses. Uh, yeah. Okay, I've been staring at this. I got distracted by the chat. I think this is good. I think I did everything I need to do. I removed it from here. I put it in here instead. Hopefully this won't throw errors or mess stuff up. Let's go test it. Class is starting, leaving stream on in the background. Yep, pay attention. Although you have a class on Saturday? What? Did you use construct? three before. I don't know what that is, so probably not. Saul. Yeah, Saul. That was the second second pronunciation I said, right? It's night there, so you're chilling. Nice. It is 3.30 where I am here. Okay. Okay, let's test her. Join, join. There we go. Let's start the game and uh, capture the flag game mode. Let's go. We're team red. So that means you got to pick up the, the... This is where you're going to see, this is where the commands come in really nice for testing because I don't need to test with another client here. I can just change my team with commands. So that's why commands are a really good thing to add in your game early on. So I can go like this, pick up the flag, Drop it, and then I can do slash team. 
uh, blue, because I need to be the blue team to test this. And then, ah, uh, crap, I need an item in my hand. And this should hopefully, oh, crap. It respawned. I gotta do that quicker. <laughs> okay, we gotta do that quicker. Maybe I should turn that time down. Maybe 10 seconds is too quick. Okay. Uh, drop it. Pick up this. Slash team. Uh, red. Okay, try and pick it up. Boom! There we go. It doesn't drop the item anymore. Bug fixed. Just returned it, right? Yeah, returned it. There we go. Just doing things in the wrong order. By the way, the sound's turned off. Um, it's a game engine, Construct 3. No, never used it, never heard of it. Construct 3, huh? Uh, here, I'll Google it right now. Construct 3. 2D game engine only, or does it have 3D too? Looks like 3D. Maybe that's 2D, can't tell. Never used it. an asset store and everything. I meant, where did you make the animations? So for the player uh, wrecked, they, I used um, Mixamo. But my model, I modeled the character myself. But I used Mixamo. For the for the gun animations, I just animated them right in Unity with the Unity animation tool. Because the gun is just game objects. It's not... Uh, uh, they're not um, bones or anything, animation rig. So is this engine free, or is everything pay? Like, do you have to personal compare plans? Looks like it costs money no matter what, does it? Vimlark uses Construct, I believe. Looks cool, but uh, is it 3D games as well, or just 2D? It kind of looks like Game Maker, the fact that it's uh, features. Oh no, looks like it's 3D. That looks 3D to me. Learn to code. Yeah, it's definitely 3D right there. Try now. Buy now. Try now. Free trial, yeah. So it does look like it's paid, though. Which makes sense. Uh, smaller engines need to make money somehow because they don't. They're not exploded like. Uh, although Godot is free, it's open source, and it's doing pretty good, I think. Oh, uh, shattered! Please stop spamming. Or I'm gonna have to hide you. Okay. No more H's. Okay, that, that gets you a hide if you don't stop. I'm gonna put you in timeout. So, if you spam again, you're getting hidden. You also eat spam for breakfast, yeah. There you go, he's in timeout. Um, okay, what was I doing? Yeah, I just tested it and the bug's fixed. Okay, so now I think... That was a quick bug we fixed. Now I think we should go... Uh, place the other spawn points in the other map maps. Because... I know they're working. Start with the valley map. Oh crap, this is game client. Not game client, we want... Server. I'm so used to having the server on my other monitor, but I can't do that when I'm streaming. Valley map. Hey, what's up, outro? He got banned. I haven't banned him yet, but if he starts spamming again once he gets unmuted, he's getting banned yet. So here's what the server looks like. It's just gray textures and purple textures, and because the server just needs collision, right? But... This still has old spawn points. 
1.1. Yeah, so let's replace these with the new and improved spawn points here, which should be under prefabs. Prefabs, uh, map features, spawn point. So let's start with that. Let's give this guy the one here and let's copy this and paste it. And I also made it so I can actually judge exactly what height they should be spawned at because I can just line up the feet and they don't actually spawn at that level, they spawn a little bit up, they spawn at this level, which is cool. So there's spawn point one replaced. And if this is a team, this is not going to be a team spawn point. This is going to be, okay, wait, so for this map, capture the flag is actually pretty unbalanced because it's really open. But one flag is there, the other flag's here. So I think I should have in the team game mode the one team spawn here and one team spawn here. And in free for all, they spawn everywhere. It's free for all. So let's call this. This is going to be a free for all spawn point. Let's just delete all the spawn points actually, because I'll just. Do them from scratch. So this will be a free for all spawn point. Uh, this one will also be a free for all spawn point over here as well. Yep. Uh, let's bring it in a little bit. Um. Okay. Chat. Uh, what is this? This is my valley map but server side so there's no textures i'm working on placing spawn points because i just redid my spawn point system with new spawn points you're gonna leave and join back okay see ya yolo is that a ps5 controller in the background no it's an xbox controller it's actually a controller i won from a game dev competition uh it says i don't know if the wait let's go here Oh, does it pick up on this low resolution webcam? It says it right at the bottom there. Uh NGDC 2019 champ. It's kind of blurry, but this is the one of the prizes for winning my uh game jam or the game design challenge. Uh because we won first place. It was the in-person game jam that I did uh, in 2019. How easy is it to make? A, how easy is it to make a game equal to Call of Duty? Uh, if you're an indie game developer, extremely difficult. But I mean, Call of Duty makes a new Call of Duty like what every one or two years, so it's not that difficult for a AAA company. Uh, okay, one spawn point, two spawn point. Let's add some more free for all spawn points. Uh, I think we should have a free for all spawn point underneath the bridge here. So, probably actually just, oh no, that did not work. I can just do this, I think, to place spawn points. But, uh, I like being a little bit more symmetrical. Go. So there's four free-for-all only spawn points. I was just thinking that maybe I should make spawn points that are team spawn only spawn points. Possibly. Huh. Because if I put three, uh, if I put three, say I want a team to spawn here, so I do this. In free for all, this area is going to be spawned way more because there's three spawn points that could be free for all spawn points because. Uh, this boolean value only makes what does it do? I'm trying to think about what it does. Only makes it crap. These things go under here. No, they're not named right. Five. I did this like a week ago, and I already forget how it works. 
if team spawn is checked, well, let's go look. Uh, spawn points. Where the heck do I even use that? What do I use this variable? <laughs> Here. If it's a teen, okay, you're getting. Bye bye. Oh, uh, well, let me mute him from here. God damn it. I really wish YouTube would somehow make this whole spam thing easier to stop. What am I doing today? Uh, well, right now I'm. Kind of finishing reworking the spawn point system. Mines and tasers. Grapple gun. <laughs> That'll be getting too close to Danny's game. Everybody calls it a Danny copy if you add a grapple gun. Yeah, sorry about that. I guess I should just ban them if they spam like that right away. I'm too nice. Okay. For each of the spawn points in spawn points, if it's a team spawn point, Okay, I'm gonna add another, I'm gonna add a team spawn point and a creeper all spawn. So if they have team spawn checked, it will only spawn there if it's a team game mode. If they have free for all checked, it will only spawn there if it's free for all game mode. If they're both checked, then the spawn point can Spawn there both when it's a free for all game mode and a team game mode. That's what I'll do. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Ah, this bugs me. The uh, I gotta do. I guess I gotta put FFA. Do we have tutorials on my channel? Not really. On I only have tutorials on Firebase, which is you know kind of its own topic. Yep, like Rush said. But yeah, gadgets. Yeah, there's going to be my item system. Literally, I'm using object oriented item system so I can literally may add any items pretty easily. I'm just still working on still working on the, the ground based systems and then I'll be adding a lot more content to the game eventually. Hey, our Vic. OK, so this is what we're going to do now. We have two of these checks now. So. Let's refresh this bad boy. How's your day? Uh, it's going good. I haven't done game dev in like a week because I have so much schoolwork and I'm going to be doing schoolwork after this stream probably. So, yeah. I only have six courses, but still, I've got like, I've always got like four assignments due <laughs> at all times. So it's, yeah, it sucks. Why is one, two, three? Oh. There's a spawn point up here. Seven, seven. There we go. So these ones, this one say, so say this one is only a team spawn. This is going to be team. What team is this? This is team. This is blue. So team blue should be spawning here. So that's team zero. So this one will be, this one will be a team spawn and a free-for-all spawn and it's team zero for blue zero is blue one is whereas these two back here will only be team spawns team zero team zero and team zero so and when you're playing a free-for-all game mode there won't be three times as many people spawning here it'll still only be one chance right but then i don't also need to place another a fourth one that's only for free-for-all i can just say right here this one's free for all okay 
Coolidge. And I'm going to move just for organization. Let me put this team right below team spawn so that I just knows that it goes with team spawn. Now, uh, bring this down here. Now, you and Danny inspire me to start making games. Cool. Probably more Danny than me, but yeah, Danny, Danny inspires a lot of people to make games because his content is a lot more towards gamers as well. So it's cool that he's able to show gamers that you can, you know, you can make games too. How do you start developing? Just find a YouTube tutorial on how to make games in your engine of choice and go from there. What's the best price software for making art? You mean like 3D art? Blender? <laughs> it's free. It can pretty much do everything that you need it to do. Okay, so. If it's a team spawn, add it. I just have to do this again. This for each loop is probably not a very good use of performance. I think it's probably not a good idea to do it for each loop every time somebody spawns in the game, but I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but uh, don't really want to think about that right now. Let's do, it's going to be free for all spawn points. So if it's a dot free for all spawn, don't need to do this. If it's a free-for-all spawn point, add to the free-for-all spawn points, then uh, do a random range through that. Okay. So now this should only get spawn points that are free-for-all spawn points. This should only get spawn points that are team spawn points. Cool. cool. That should be good. Now let's just finish placing the spawn points. Hey, who deleted my message? Where? Uh, did your message get deleted? Oh, I didn't. I deleted for lunch. Uh, okay. Let's continue with the spawn points. So three here this will be for the blue team uh here move it over a little bit make sure it's good on the height yeah it's good on the height okay there's the blue team spawn this one right here is the free-for-all one so this one will also work in the free-for-all game mode coolidge um now Let's do the same thing here. Grab them all. Is it going to nicely... Yeah, did the numbering nicely. And this over here is going to be the red team spawn. Right here. Let's just move this one forward instead of this. That's about good. How's the height? Yeah, height's good. And let's just grab all these ones, and they're on the red team, And but only this one here will be for free for all. The other two are only team based. Yep. Now the first four ones I need to check free for all, because they're free for all spawn points. Okay, now let's add a few more free for all spawn points here. Because so we want some other spawn points, like over here. Probably in the house for free for all. The house is all purple. Uh, where's the walls? Oh my gosh, I kind of need to add a material to this here. Materials. Prototype. Is that one I want to use or this one? Which one is the one that I want to use for... That's the terrain. This is the objects. I recently stripped all the materials from the server, so that's why there's purple materials. Because I only want to use one material, because there's no use in loading materials on the server. To save performance. Uh, boom. There we go. Now we got a spawn point inside the house. Add some more. Oh boy, I'm not going to bother with that. 
Um, yep. The hat spawn point inside the house now. Uh, we add. Add a spawn point like here somewhere it's in the trees right here. There. Cool. 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 Uh, spawn point in these trees would probably be cool. Or maybe like in this house. Um. Let's do it in this house. Let's build where it needs to be. And then let's add a spawn point maybe over here at the campsite. Maybe just behind here. Coolidge. So we got spawn point there, 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 there. There and there. Hmm. Should I add a spawn point by the garage here? Maybe. Let's add one more by the garage. Uh, how do you make a multiplayer game? <laughs> That's a big question to ask. Many, 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 many steps. But there's a link in the description on Tom's networking series. Uh, Rug also has a networking series on Photon. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's Daper Dino has a networking series on how to use Mirror. Uh, yep. There's lots, lots of things on YouTube. You just gotta look. Unet is outdated. Yep, it's no longer supported. It's uh, Mirror is Unet, but uh, community is supported. And then... Uh, I forget what the new the name of the new Unity multiplayer solution is. But Unity has a newer one. Okay, so that's all the spawn points for the valley, so let's go ahead and test them out. Actually, let me also fix the spawn points for uh, the main to include the free-for-all check. This one is a free-for-all spawn point. Let's make this one the free-for-all spawn point and this one the for all spawn point. Coolidge. Network manager, let's play and go to the client and also play. Uh, hey, Mad Ferret's here. What's up? Clients. I click play. Didn't work. Oh, rip. There's an error. Oh, I hate that when this error happens it's because I'm already running the server. There we go. Now start the server. And join. What? Oh, I didn't set the uh, spawn points in the lobby to be free for all spawn points. That'll break it. Lobby. Spawn points. There we go. They need to be free for all spawn points too. Uh, try that again. That'll break it. Game client, click play. Join, refresh. Join. Uh, 
Okay. Test this thing out. So, I mean, the main lobby worked. Let's go to the valley map in Team Deathmatch, and we are on... We are on the red team, so we should spawn... Uh, we should spawn across from the big the big uh, house. Why your message got deleted? I don't know what you're talking about, messages getting deleted. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No spawning happened. Why did no spawning happen? Oh no. Spawn points. Oh no. Wait. What's the air? Object not says to an instance of an object. Uh, game server. Oh, wait. Ooh. You know, it'd help if. Wait. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Why is that a thing? Oh crap, I just had six blank things in here for some reason. So what it does is it auto adds all these to this array when uh, when the game starts and I accidentally had all those in there empty. This one good here too? Yeah, it's empty. Because before I manually added them in there, but that's tedious. So now I have it automatically grab all the spawn points that are a child of it. Which is way better. Okay, let's restart that. Kill the game. Oh, that's not what I want to see. Was that the server? What? Hmm. That's what I get for upgrading to Unity 2020, I guess. Hey, amazing Scion, what's up? Penguin. Or what is that? Is that a penguin? It's like a penguin. We're just about to test the spawns point system. And then we gotta add it to the uh, ship map, and then we can move on to possibly starting redoing the way, well not really redoing, just kind of reorganizing the way I do my shooting, getting it out of, it's in the wrong scripts right now. Okay, please don't crash. Cool itch. Join the server. And let's start the game mode. Capture the flag, why not? And valley map, start game mode. Hopefully it shoves me into the right map this time. I'm on the blue team, so we should spawn across from the campsite. Unity 2021 beta. I have a feeling that'll have more bugs. Blue team, and we spawned in one of the blue team spawn points. Let's just kill ourselves and make sure we always spawn here. Yep, we're spawning here again. Dodge kill. Again, perfect use for the commands. I don't need a second client to, to task killing myself. Slash kill. Go, another one of the spawn points that's here. Slash kill. So it looks like it's working. It's never spawning us at any of the other spawn points. It's only at these three, because these are the three team spawn points. Now if I do slash team red, now, if I do slash kill, I should spawn all the way on the other side of the map. I admire you, says father. Thank you. There we go. I spawned over here. Slash kill. Should spawn over here again. Yeah, I did. Slash kill. Yeah, that should be good. So now if I just uh I can't really
dice. I was thinking if there's, I don't even have a command to quickly end the game mode. I should probably do that. Oh wait, I know, I do, I do. Slash, I just changed the map, lap lobby. That'll end the game mode. This is just test to make sure the free for all ones are still working here. Free for all, valley, start game. And that's, we should be able to now spawn at all over the map and all those different spawn points, if it's working correctly. Penguins are birds, but can't fly. Yes, they are. Oh, okay, so I mean I spawned at one of those free-for-all spawn points. Let's so slash kill. Hi, I can't say your name. Enges MC. I spawned at this free-for-all spawn point. Welcome to the live stream. Yes, indeed. I spawned another one. So it looks like this is working. So now it'll be much better, the spawn points, because they're separated between team game modes and free-for-all game modes. That'd be much better. Zippy stopped working. What do you mean by that? Drive yourself insane. Trying to make a third person character controller. Ah, oh, dang. Hey, look. You guys are talking about barrels. I have barrels in my game. So, YouTube, you should make my stream go viral now because I have barrels. See? Barrels. Just gotta say it so the algorithm picks it up that there's barrels. And I'm gonna roast Tom here, but I made these barrels in probably like 10 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, but his actually probably still look better. I mean, I got wood planks. Does his have wood planks? I can't remember how his looks. Can you get on the roof here? Ugh, you can. Ooh, sniper spot? Question mark. Pew. Got the audio turned off. Why is it lagging? Oh, we can stream. Yeah, this map makes the legs the stream lag a lot because all this grass. The ammo. That's another thing I got to figure out is the whole pickup system. I think I want to make health slowly regenerate over time instead of you having to always pick up a health pickup. That's right. Barrels. So this stream should go viral. If you don't get the joke, it's because Tom modeled barrels in one of his streams and the YouTube algorithm like picked it up and he got like 300 views. And we're joking that it's because he was modeling a barrel. <laughs> Um, but I guess YouTube doesn't like me. Um, okay, so I think we just confirmed that the spawn point system is good. So let's just add spawn points to the ship map, test them, and then let's move on to uh, possibly re reworking how my shooting system works because it's pretty messy right now. I'll show you when we get to it, but let's start with the ship map here. So yeah, in my most recent video, I guess I started talking about how I worked on the ship map. Haven't really touched it since. Still needs lots of work. Still prototype textures everywhere. This room's pretty much finished, I think, other than texturing. Uh, this room, I kind of rushed through. It definitely is not finished. This whole kitchen area is not finished. It kind of looks more like a school cafeteria right now. The bunk room also, I think I might want to turn this area into like a shower area or something. Also, Herb is here. But he's not here in the builds. What? Uh, why is he not here in the builds? If anybody doesn't know what I'm doing right now, we put a little like Easter egg, little mini herb in the locker here. But for some reason, he's in. He's not there when I build the game. I'll have to test that because uh, this is the real herb back here the real big herb in, in the storage room this room also is pretty complete i think the layout might change but it's looking pretty good yep i think i also need to put some more props up on the deck here to hide behind it's pretty open and then also this tower here i need to actually model right now it's kind of just blocked out 
I need to add more railings here. I need to finalize the stairs and everything. I need to finalize this area here. Yep. Probably do a modeling stream for that. Um, okay. Let's read the chat here. Yo, Zippy. What's up? Saul says, yeah, damn, I need to do more barrels. Yeah. Maybe the maybe YouTube will pick you, or Twitch. Sorry, we'll pick up your stream. <laughs> Um, are you planning on making a reload animation for the hands? Oh, you mean like the left hand actually puts the mag in? Yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, or I may just leave it janky because uh, the left hand IK, I've already messed with it and it's, it's the bone, the way the bones work, the bone looks like it's like in your body when you try to do left hand IK because of the way I'm doing my hand system. At uh, most game devs spend too much time just casting inside their game instead of programming. Yeah, like, well, you gotta give me a little bit of break right here because I'm kind of, I'm streaming, right? So I'm talking to you guys, reading the chat. So I'm not usually this bad at, I just, about flying around and doing nothing, but... Yeah, I'm still trying to be entertaining while working on the game here and read chat, so... But yeah, you're right, let's, let's get to work here, let's... Where even is the spawn points for this map? Wait, what? Oh, I'm in the bloody client side. Uh, I'm so confused. I'm confusing myself. Uh, ship. Everything's pink. Let's fix some of these materials to start. Oh, the containers are pink. Let's do this one. Yeah, I can see stuff. And understand stuff. Anyway, so yeah, so right now on the ship map, there's literally only six spawn points, I think. And they're only on either side of the map. They're right, like, right at the... I just pointed to my screen, like you can see. They're on the helipad and at the back here, because this map was meant for a team mode. But then when we played free-for-all on it, it really didn't make sense, because you could just spawn camp these two spots where everybody always spawned. But now, we're good to... Uh, we're good to put spawn points everywhere, so let's do that. Let's just delete these spawn points. Uh, put this back to zero. Uh, prefabs. Map features. Spawn point. Right there. Center it. Zero. Zero. Uh, negative 50. go and let's put it underneath the spawn points and let's name it with the one uh did you use photon to create the server no i'm not using photon i'm using uh tom's and networking solution links in description on his tutorial series your internet is going to kill can't watch add fishies says jadelin so jadelin if you don't know, is my girlfriend, and she modeled. She wanted fishes in the water here, so she did model fishes. Um, it was her first time doing a 3D model, and she did pretty good. And so I'm gonna actually put her model in the game. I think I have it somewhere. Uh, maps. Ship map. Yeah, fish. But, yeah. I guess you can put one in here. <laughs> Look at it. It's a little bit too big, I think. <laughs> I need to make it be able to move. But look at it. Doesn't it look good? For a little pulley fish. Make it half the size. There you go. There's your fish. We'll make it move someday. Okay, there you go, I added your fish. We'll make it move someday. Actually, you could, maybe we can make it move together. Um, okay, one spawn point, two spawn point. Saul says that's great, yeah it is. Yay, she says yeah. Oh yeah. Girlfriend approved. 
Uh, let's put this guy forward a bit. Let's make another one so there's four places to spawn here. Doesn't really look centered though. That looks more centered right there. And let's make these all team spawn points. Let's make it for the team. Uh, oh, what team is this side? Sorry. What is this? Is the flag spawner? So this would be the blue team. So we need to make this the blue team, which is team zero in integer representation. I've seen Tom series first video. I don't even understand what it is he's saying. Can you help me to learn before starting the series? Please help out. Well, if you're not interested in how networking works behind the scenes, I suggest to not use Tom's networking solution. Use Mir or Photon, which is kind of all the behind the scenes are already done for you, and it's more just making the game itself. Um, or you could wait, and Tom's making a new networking solution, which I'm actually using, that he's kind of not going to teach you how to do the behind the scene. He's more going to teach you how to use, uh, use it to make more games rather than actually programming the networking solution so but i suggest like photon or mirror or one of the other ones that are uh more i want to say straightforward but are less about the networking solution and more about the actual game making um, yep uh okay so but i want to make one of these let's make this one a free-for-all spawn point so if we're playing free-for-all you could spawn here okay so now let's copy these four and let's add four to the other side of the map here. The one thing that's really unbalanced about this map uh, after designing it is for this side to get down to where the flag is, you're behind the flag, right? So that's kind of a disadvantage for you because on this side to get to their flag, they're actually going down and going to be, if you go down the stairs here, see? And they're going to be in front of the flag between the other team and the flag so that's kind of a disadvantage for this for the other team and an advantage for this team because they can cut them off here right didn't really think about that when designing the map which is quite unfortunate so i might need to balance that somehow i'm not really sure i guess this team is kind of a little bit closer I'll just see how it plays, but I have a feeling that uh, this team is going to win a lot more often than this team, just because of the layout of the map. Because the fact that they can cut them off here with these stairs. Right? Whereas the other team, they spawn behind the flag and can't really cut them off, right? Unless they go down, I guess. I know I'm moving a lot around a lot here. I'm sorry, I'm making you dizzy. Unless they go down these stairs, I guess they could cut them off. But, you know what I mean? Okay, let's fix these spawn points. They are should be for team one. And let's move them because they're kind of like inside the map right now. Let's move them so their feet aren't in the ground. Uh, I want to use Unity, but I don't know what version to use. Do you suggest any? Just use the newest one. Use 2020. That's your best bet. Just get, use the newest one. I'm using, you can see right here at the top, 2022.2.4. It's fairly stable, but as you saw earlier, if you're watching, it still crashes sometimes, so. But yeah, I just use the newest newest uh, version. The newest version that is not in beta or alpha is, I think, this version. And then you could also use the newest uh, long-term support version, which I think is still 2019, though, I think. Not really sure. Negative uh, two on the X. Let's make sure this one's also negative two on the X. Okay. And let's make these two need to be moved over a little bit more, I think. Let's make this one the free for all spawn point. Which one was it? Shoot. Oh my, I just opened so many things. No, it must be this one. Yeah, this one was the free-for-all spawn point. So now this is the only free-for-all. These are all team spawn points. And I think I actually want to move them farther back so it takes them longer to rush down the stairs and cut people off. 
let's move them to like right there, a little bit farther back. That might be better. I uh, made some optics. I can give you three to support the game. What do you mean optics? For guns? Uh, are there any concepts that I should learn before starting that series? I would want to create the servers and stuff like you did. Um, you should watch, um, you should learn more about like how server client architecture works. You know, like, why do you have a dedicated server? What's the point of a dedicated server? Stuff like that. Um, and I think uh, if you search for Shrine on YouTube, I think it's called Shrine. There's also YouTube videos in my uh, in my resources channel on my Discord. There's this one account that kind of explains what server client architecture is. You kind of want to learn more about that, I think, probably. And then you should also probably be pretty proficient in C sharp programming. Uh, am I from Turkey? Nope. I'm Canadian. I'm from Canada. I sound Turkish. I don't speak Turkish, so <laughs> I only speak English. Aim down sight optics. Oh, uh, my stuff's a little poly though, and I I don't really need anything. I'm making everything myself. So thanks for the offer though. J code is also Canadian. Hey Jay, what's up? J code is French Canadian. He lives in the how do you say it? Quebec, Qui Quebec. I was gonna say it with a French accent. <laughs> No, no, no reason to apologize. What? It's okay. Hey, Hexa. Okay, so there's uh, all the team spawn points set. Let's now move on to some free-for-all spawn points. Let's set a free-for-all spawn point like right here. Right in the middle. Free-for-all spawn point, not a team spawn point, just negative one. Coolidge. Let's set some free-for-all spawn points along the edges here. Like right here, but like in a little bit so they have cover when they first spawn. And let's duplicate that one and put it on the other side as well. So negative eight. Coolidge. Okay, let's duplicate this one and put him out here somewhere. We brought a spawn point right there. Actually, maybe not. I think that's getting too many on the deck. I don't know. I'll put one right there. Okay. Now let's put some underground, underground in the in the hall. Put one right here. Let's actually put it right. Off to the side here, so he's kind of out of the way. Right here. In the bunk room. He just woke up. He's like, oh, we're in battle. What the heck? Uh, okay. Now let's put a free for all spawn point in the storage room. Whoa, way too far. In the storage room for sure. Uh, where should we put it though? Let's put it. Maybe let's actually put it like right here. So he's kind of got cover from all these boxes here. Okay. Do you use your own animation rigging? Yeah, the rig is made by me, but then I use Mixamo for the actual animations. Did you use ragdolls in your game and it's. Is it necessary to use ragdolls in games? Uh, really only death animation is where I would see it, unless you're making a completely ragdoll game, like, uh... I can't think of an example of people who's using... Like, Human Fall Flat is like a ragdoll game, right? But it's also annoying the network, because you have to sync every single 
physics joint, which is interesting to, to sync networking wise. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, not necessary. I like the my little poof of particles when the player dies. It works instead of a ragdoll. Uh, what about Riptide? What about it? It's in a pretty good state right now if you're asking about it. Uh, J code. Uh, Tom's fixed a, a lot of bugs. Yeah, texture and materials missing. That's because it's the uh, it's not finished yet. And this is also the server side, the client side. It looks a lot better, right? Right, Jay. This is the client side. But yeah, I haven't textured. It's just all a default texture right now. Uh, I'm new to Unity and just wanted to know why is the objects pink? That's because the materials missing. Because um, I deleted all the materials server side. And the reason for that is if you're new to Unity, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but anyways, it's just this is server side, so you don't actually see this in game. Uh, this is this is what they see in game. See, it's much nicer. Uh, this materials are still all gray, but that's because I haven't actually textured it. But this is what it looks like. Same spot, right? This is client side. Again, it's kind of hard to understand, especially when you're Unity. But there's two projects because it's a multiplayer game. One side's for the server, which is this project you're looking at right now, and the other one's for the client, which is this project. But yeah, spawn points, that logic is server side, so I'm, that's why I'm on the server right now. So we have a spawn point in the storage room. Let's now add spawn point in the, in the, uh, pull them all the way over. Should we add one like right here? Let's add one right here in this doorway. Right there. There we go. And then let's add one more in the engine room. Right here somewhere. Right there. There we go. So now we got lots of spawn points. We got one in the engine room. One right here. One right here. And one right here. And then we got a bunch up here. One there for free for all. One there, one there, one there, one there. And one here. Coolidge. Okay, now let's test them here and make sure the map's good. So, let's go to scenes, network manager, start the game, go to the client here. You can also see if the fish is in the water. Should be. And we can also check to see if Herb's there. Let's go to network. Uh, what did I change? Save. Uh, oh, code steals here. Uh, why use two different projects? Because it's uh, Tom's networking solution is dedicated server based, so the server is a dedicated project just for the server, which handles all mostly all logic that I can handle, and it handles collision, right? So that's why there's a separate project for just the server. You could make it all in one project, but then like Mirror, you can do it all in one project. And I'm sure you could with Tom's as well, but second project works. What's your age? I just turned 20, which is hard to believe. Yeah, J code said one for client and one for the server. How long have I been using Unity for? Ah, about six years now. There's a YouTube video on my channel about all the games that I made in Unity over the past five years. Go watch it. After the stream, of course. How many people in the match? Uh... As many until the game starts lagging. <laughs> um, in the playtest, we had about 
10 or 12 people, but then it really started lagging, so... Yeah. 20 gang. Yeah, we're at 25. Yeah, we were at 25 members there for a second. Which is cool. Uh... You can have them shared. Do you use Tom's solution? For your networking solution there, Code Steel? Steamworks. Oh, 20 gang my age. Not, not the amount of people in the stream. Yeah, I turned 20 like... Uh, when did I even turn 20? Like a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so, or no. uh, let's go to the capture the flag. Uh, let's go to the ship map. Let's increase the time a bit. So this should spawn me. I'm blue team. It should spawn me on the helipad. Hopefully. Do you watch Danny on YouTube? Yep. He hasn't posted in a while, but end of January for you, Saul. It's the end of February for me. So, I'm like a month after you, I guess. Yeah, everybody watches Danny, I think. I think his content's entertaining. Multiplayer Tom series or Photon or Mir? Which one's better? Uh, that's that's like a hard question to answer. I don't know, they all they have their different strengths. You kind of got to figure that out on your own. Or if you want to be able to learn about the actual networking in the back end, Tom's solution is probably the best. If you want to not really care about how everything works in the back end and you want to just kind of make a game, then probably Mirror or Photon would be better. Yep. You gotta remember that Mirror and Photon also cost probably more money to host. Let's go see if Herb is still in the lockers here. Yeah, see, look, he's not there. Why is he not there? He's there here. Wait, what? I'm like really confused right now. Why is he not there? I'm really confused right now, actually. He's static. He's his colliders there. Why isn't it rendering? Could it be that... Could it be... Could it be the uh, uh, occlu uh, occlusion culling that's making him not render because it's too small of a hole? That could be it. It could be the occlusion, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, what if I make him non-ocular static? Yes. Uh, why is it not? I might have to figure this out. That's so weird. It's got to be something to do with... It's not rendering because it's the gap's too small for it to think that it shouldn't render it or something. I don't know. Let's just not touch it for now. I'll figure that out for the next playtest because there's a little Easter egg that... <laughs> Is invisible right now. Um, ah, oh crap, the game ended. But let's test the spawn points now. Why are there two dislikes? Sad face. Yeah, I know. What the heck? Why do you dislike me? Yeah, I was wondering if it didn't have, if it had a layer. It had no layers. I think it has something to do with the uh, occlusion culling. Okay, let's restart the game here so we can test the spawn points. Okay, uh, coach deal. Uh, I think Photon and Mir are miss. Uh, Photon is a solution to make a multiplayer game with Photon servers. Yep, they're lobby based, right? While Mirror doesn't actually deal with connections or anything server client related. Um, also, Photon doesn't actually host the server. I'm pretty sure they're it actually it might depend on the uh, what Photon version you're using, but they're still peer hosted. I think what they do is they have relay servers for for lobbies that uh, relay like your IP when you uh, to c connect with each other in the same room. I might be mistaken by that though. Just test that I spawn in the right spot while I talk here. 
Uh, mirror is backbone to hold the networking transport and communications through that. Rip her, but yeah, I know for some reason he's invisible. So you're saying that Mir is a lot more expansive than it seems. I don't know, I've never looked into it, so. There's 32 likes. Nice. Yeah, if you if you can't stay, at least like the, the stream before you leave. Appreciated. I, w I should say that I personally don't have a lot of experience with Photon. I have no experience with Photon or Mir. My experience with UNET was a long time ago, and uh, I don't think I'm qualified to talk about it because I, on one of my first videos I made, I got a lot of uh, backlash because I was saying some wrong things about Mir, which I kind of regret because I didn't really know what I was talking about. Slash team red. Okay, now let's test that I spawn at red spawn points. He left two times but came back. Cool. Yeah, we spawned at a red spawn point. Let's try it again. Colis. I can't say that word. You guys hear about Colisusis? Okay, looks like I'm only spawning at red spawn points. Yep. Slash kill. Okay, let's leave and let's. Oh crap, not leave. I wanted to. Actually, I guess we can test here. Where do I spawn? Blue team. Hey, what happens if I do it again? Blue team. Uh-oh. 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 Why did I spawn here? Uh-oh. I shouldn't have spawned there. Whatcha making? Working on my multiplayer game. We just found a bug, so I guess we're not done with the spawn point system. I'm working on my multiplayer game, working on a new spawn point system. Now, why did that spawn point not work correctly? Just go check and make sure that it's... I spawned like at one of these spawn points, but why? It's not a team spawn, so why did it spawn there? Yeah, now these are team spawns. Hmm. Now, it was when I rejoined. I guess so we can change teams at will like CS does, unless it's already there and it's uh, it's pretty much ready to be there, I guess. I just have to actually do it. I probably won't be able to change teams at will, but maybe reshuffle teams if uh, if they're too... Or maybe you can only change teams if, uh, you know, if, they're, if the team that you're on is bigger than the other team. But I literally just did it with commands right now, so it's pretty easy. I just got to run the same thing that I did with the command, but... You know, I have to set up UI for it and stuff. Uh, man, I was I was excited there because I thought we were done with this, but there seems to be still some bugs. So let's just test it a little bit more here. Crap. There we go. Open source multiplayer throw at a framework. Oh, it's a multiplayer framework. I see. Are you doing server authoritative player movement? Yep, it's all server authoritative. I don't have client side prediction yet. It's on the list. But yeah, everything is routed through the server. I send inputs to the server and then the server does the movement. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh Mil Milen, I think you're on the right track there with the spawning before the team set. Let's test it a little bit more. Let's do a free-for-all one here to make sure the free-for-alls are working first. Oh no, wrong map. Stop game. Oh wait. Oh, I just found another bug. I gotta update the UI for what map it is when a player joins. That's that's the issue. We don't, we're not gonna touch that issue. I'll do that off camera. Uh, what multiplayer framework is this? I'm using Tom's networking solution it's called riptide it's actually not available to the to the general public yet but his previous one is available and the link in the description to the tutorial series on it 
but it's a custom networking solution again made by a guy named Tom. Uh, ooh, these stairs are kind of hard to get up. Okay, let's test these spawn points. Yep. Looks good. The movement? Yeah, it's pretty smooth. I'm using interpolation right now, so it's. Although I am right now, you know, hosting it locally, so it is a little bit more laggy when we played during the playtest. Okay. Okay, so that seems to be working. It's always putting me at a free for all spawn point. Oh, here's one. Down in the basement. Or end of the deck. Flash kill. Did you say anything about when it's supposed to be released this game? Uh, who knows? Like I said, I just work on it as a, as a hobby. I'm a full-time student, so I just work on it for fun. I share what I my progress for fun on YouTube and streaming. So who knows if it's when it's going to be finished. I hope to have like a minimum value product, you know, sometime this year. And we've already been playtesting on my Discord server, so it's technically like privately released. Oh, Riptide. Sorry. Um, Riptide. Tom. You gotta ask Tom, not me. And when you ask him, he'll probably say that he doesn't know. Uh, it's still in the early testing phase, although it's pretty stable. Uh, there are still some issues, though. He just has to get around to making a tutorial series. That's why he does. He, he has to make a tutorial series, and then it'll be available. Yep. Okay, so... I think you're on the right track there, uh, whoever said that the uh, team is not being set before we spawn, so let's go check that out there. Game server here. So it checks your team right here, right? This is where it checks your team. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Uh, Riptide, not the game. Yep, 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 yep. Sir, what I need to launch a multiplayer game on Play Store and how? Make a server, E-U-N-A-S. Um, not really sure what you're asking. On the Play Store. So like a mobile game? I'm not sure what you mean by how to make a server, E-U-N-A-N. So different region servers? You probably want to use like a cloud hosting service like Google or Amazon or Microsoft. I'm going to join Discord now. Yeah, links down below. How do you sync animation via Tom networking solution? Because I struggle to find a good way to do it. I guess I'll just show you right now. Um, player, player animation. Pretty simple. Uh, you just, you know, you, you when you control your animation controller, it's usually based off of the movement. So I just have a bunch of variables here. That I send to all clients, like uh, the run, which is basically the the whether or not we're running or not, uh, x and y, like which direction we're moving, whether we're floating, whether we're swimming, whether we're crouching, and then I can use all this information to basically say what animation to play on the animation controller for each client. pretty simple as that you just got to sync variables that's all networking is you got to sync variables at least with tom's solution what's up zippy says jorzen not much mobile game similar to pubg yeah so you probably uh, i'm not sure what networking solution you want to use for a mobile game so yeah that's how i sync my animations i basically just whatever variables you normally use to control the animator you got to sync them to all clients, right? And usually you know these variables based off of your movement script, right? You know whether you're running or not. You know which direction you're running. Uh, you know whether you're floating, swimming, or crouching, right? Like these variables are all set. Uh, these variables are set in my player movement script. So wherever, somewhere in here. It's a pretty big script. Yeah, look, see, when I'm in the water, I set the player animation swimming to true. And when I get out of the water, I set it to false, for example. Yep. 
Okay. So right here, this is where I check to see if their team is not equal to negative one. So where's this called? Refresh team. That's not the one. It'd be one of these two. Spawn. No, because... Right here. Right here, if... If the current game mode is a team game, instead of just spawning them, it runs refresh team which then first gives them a team and then spawns them. So. So. Oh, why would that not be working? I guess debug, debug log statements it is. See if it's calling this or if it's calling the other one. Debug. Dot log. Uh, free for all spawn. So be team spawn. Um, does this game have a name? Um, nope. I've, I have an idea for a name, but I'm not sure if I want to use it yet. But it doesn't have a name. Suggestions are welcome. Millen answered it for me. Things like your gun movement, are those synced? Uh, yeah, like which direction the player is looking is synced, yep. And when the, the items drop, uh, that's synced. Everything's synced that way, that way. Okay, let's test it here. Uh, yeah, so, sorry, Bold Bear, I just missed your chat. It's hard, it's hard to make sure I don't miss all the chats. Um, let's go to, let's test with, uh, let's test with the ship app set. It's a team game mode set. Start game. Yeah, so we're trying to figure out why, even though it's a team game mode, I was spawning at free for all spawn points when uh when leaving and rejoining the match so let's try that you join that worked i'm on the blue team leave actually no that didn't work it didn't work that didn't work i spawned underground Team spawn, free for all spawn. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't collapse them. Yeah, team spawn. Er, uh, team spawn. Free for all spawn. Team spawn. Team spawn. Yeah, that was when I spawned in the game. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna move to my other screen here. Do that again. Let's join. Join, and team spawn. So team spawn was called here. Team spawn. But yet I spawned, not at a team spawn point, but a free-for-all spawn point. My team is one, which is right. Uh, 
Not just item spawners, what am I doing? Spawn points. Where's the spawn point? What the heck? 12. Of course, the one, the last one I click on. Uh, it is a free for all spawn point. So why am I spawning here? That doesn't make much sense here. It's weird. So that means this one isn't being called. So that's right. So it's not that. That isn't the issue. This if statement isn't the issue. It's something to do with this refresh team here. Um... You didn't miss this one. The stream. Welcome, the MTB. Yeah, you didn't miss it. We're still going here. Hello. Um, okay, so this does goes through the team player IDs. Oh. Oh. But this won't add you to a new team. Uh, this won't add you to a new team. Oh boy. This whole team thing is very complex. This won't add you to a new team. Why won't it add you to a new team, actually? Radio, great stream. Heading off now. See ya, Saul. Hello, M Emir. Don't know if I said your name right. See ya, Saul. Um, let's see here. In the player. Where do I set the player team? That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Spawn. Player. Player, 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 player. Player script is also really big. Uh, I think there's a player. Here we go. Player spawned. Ah, here we go. Send set team. Does it give me my team though yet? Where I'm a little bit confused here what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to refresh team. Player dot get one point. Betcha the, the team, the player team is not set here. Plus player team. I bet you it's still negative one here. Let's just confirm that with a test here. Yeah, I use Tom's networking solution, Jorzen. I'm using his new one called Riptide that isn't out yet, but it's very similar to the previous one. That is tutorials link in the description, I believe. Mm -hmm. 
looking at my Discord server for a minute. Okay, let's join. Let's test. Uh, let's test to see if the player ID, team ID, is negative one, which means that it has no team. And if it is, then uh, we know that's the problem. Set. Start game. Yes, sir. Uh. Did you see my comment about game cache a while ago? How a while ago? Are you talking about the player customization? Is that the one that you're talking about? Are you the one that said that? Zero is actually team blue. One is, t so zero, negative one is no team. I should actually switch it so I don't have to use an integer and I can use a, a unsigned short or something but right now negative one is no team zero is team blue one is team red but i'll probably change it because i'm making it so that you can have as many teams as you want so two would actually be the next team team yellow or whatever but uh i should probably change it to an unsigned uh, short there's all kinds of things you can do to uh improve performance but so then zero would be no team, but for now it's negative one. Um, let's leave. What hand am I on? I'm blue. Leave. Join. Yep, so I spawned in the wrong spot. Let's see what it did. Negative one. Yep, so the team is still negative one. So that makes sense while it's why it's spawning at any spawn point. But the question is now, why is it negative one? Because I th thought that's what all this code was doing is setting the team so i gotta think about this for a minute yolo uh so yeah so uh in game like currency probably eventually there'll be some type of in-game character customization but you know that's down the road there's no point in character customization if there's no gameplay right so let's see here team player ids what is team player ids i don't even know it's a list of integers and a, it's a list of a list of integers. Ooh, team player IDs. Right, so I think it's a list. So it'll be a list of a list of IDs. So it'll be a list of the players on each team. Right. Oh boy, so yeah, so if the player is newly joining, they're not going to be in this list. So this is only for, this is only for if they already are in the team player IDs thing. So where do you add it? No, that's just, that's just initializing it. Where do we add to this? Here we go. Where is this called? Set team. Game mode set team. Where is this called? Set team. Hmm. Set random team. Okay, I think I gotta call this somehow. This is being called just too late, I think. Where's this being called? Set their team here. Set their team here. Scene changed. Set their team here. Ah. This could be part of the problem. This is where the team's actually set. And the t players spawned way up here. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Debug team player ID count. I've got it in my head here what the problem is. This is the problem right here. Player spawns here, but their team's set way down here. Not in the right order, right? But the problem is, is that I 
wonder if I can just move this. Whoop. Into. Here. Like this. Uh, 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 this would be just this. This would be also this. This. I actually don't even need this. What is this? Uh, if, well, of course, this is not going to be equal to null. So that's, this would be, uh, network manager dot singleton dot in game. This would be starting game. I just want what's a player this is a player <laughs> what's this guy's problem team Not sure why that has a problem right there. Um, oh, it says this is a static met uh, method. Ah. Uh, it's a static method. What am I talking about? Uh, this this is what I need right here. Player.team. I was so confused there for a second. It's because this is a static method. Um, ow, the question is, will this break everything? I don't have to be in game to do this either. Actually, maybe I do. Um, so, random team. Let's give this a go. Sorry, I'm just running through all the scenarios here in my head, whether or not this is going to work or not. I think it will. Because I'm basically just moving that logic to happen before I actually spawn the player. And I don't think it needs to happen after any of these things. Yeah, none of this stuff. I don't think I need to send game mode info. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Let's see if this works or if it breaks everything. Let's see if it breaks everything or if it works. Two hours of stream's been going now. Yeah, and we're still on bloody spawn points. That's that's how complicated uh, uh, networking is. Keep in mind that I also go slower when streaming, but it's how much networking is. It takes forever to get anything done. How long have you been working with Blender? Um, I used Blender like a year after I started using Unity, so like four years maybe. But never really done realistic modeling, only like low poly modeling. Yep. So while. Wow. Still got 16 people hanging out here. So I think I'll keep going here. Well, we'll definitely get these spawn points done. Feel free to ask your questions in the chat. Because that's what I'm streaming for. Um, so we should be good to join now as a client. Go. You only look for devlogs and streams. Shit. Set. Start game. See if this works or if it breaks everything. What about tutorials?
I mean, we're spawning at a spawn point. A team spawn point, and... Oh, wait. Wait, I need to disconnect. What am I thinking? Team zero. Leave. Join. Hey, we spawned at a spawn point. Like a team spawn point. And my team is zero. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it like a few times. Hey, we're still good. Okay, I think I fixed that. I'm just doing stuff in the wrong order. Hey, Burrs, we're good. Now we're on red team. Cool. So it is also picking a random team. We're on red team. Cool. Okay, that's good, I think. Let's just test to make sure the free-for-all slash, uh, slash map lobby. Make sure I didn't break free-for-all. And then we should be good. I know, how do you say that? An Anginous and open match? Not sure what you're, what you're talking about. Are those people? or Hi, Scrap. What's up? Let's change it to free for all and make sure it still works. Strip my team. Yep. Let's see if it still works. What do you mean they're pro prof? What do you mean by the what you said? I'm not sure what those are. Open match. Seem to be a spawn point. Yep, that's a this is a free for all spawn point slash kill. Yep, it's working. Nice. Slash kill. Spawn in the same spot. Cool. It was working. It's working good. There we go. Spawn points are redone and much better. So I think, I'm sure there'll be bugs that I'll find in the next playtest, but... I think we can cross it off our list. Host run and scale dedicated servers on Kubernetes. These names I can't pronounce. Yeah, I know there's lots of different things to host your servers and scale. Open match, flexible. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I've, I have i didn't know by name, but I've definitely heard of... Uh, I know Google has stuff like that as well. Like, Google has hosting and Amazon has hosting like that. Where it automatically starts servers depending on your traffic level and stuff. Yep. Okay. Um, so, I think... 30, 59 files changed. Lots of files changed. Um, so what did I do? Uh, history. Fish model. Hey, this push, I actually should have captured. Let's just do CTF uh, changes and spawn point. Point. Uh, spawn point. Changes, changes, yep, uh, droppable, why is it not like, what am I spelling? Um, uh, 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 what's the time in your country? It is 410. I'm in uh, EST, Eastern, St Eastern Standard Time Zone. Okay, made flag droppable, you know. 
and made spawn points be team or free for all specific. Cool. And that's good. Commit to master. I think. Is there any comments in my code that I should clean up? Oh, I should probably remove that debug statement. You always gotta think about that before you push. Coolidge, Coolidge, Coolidge. Yep, should be good. Just thinking. Sorry. Made flag droppable, made spawn points. We're good. Commit to master. I use URP. Universal Render Pipeline. It's past nine where you're from. Getting late. Okay, now let's push. Um, I kind of have a... Uh, I need to add a console for showing errors. Yeah, you're right about the dev console. Right now, I, I can type commands directly in the chat, like Minecraft, I guess. It has like chat commands. But yeah, I think I need to add some type of dev console so I can just have people open it to show me errors. That is uh, definitely something I need to do. Um, so let's just call this done. Done. So the next thing is to work on the shooting recall system, which I think I'll just start for maybe the next, you know, 30, 40 minutes or so. So I've already been going for two hours. And we'll just start working on it. But we won't finish it today. They are in the same repo, yeah. They are in the same repo. Where'd that go? Uh, they are in the same repo. One sec, let me open it. Yeah. I don't think I, I don't think anything I show here is bad. I hope not. No, because it's private, right? So, but yeah, they're in the same repo. I also have some Firebase stuff in here. Yep. So, shooting a recoil system. I guess I can maybe just talk about what it's doing right now and why it needs reworked. Um, first of all, it's in a really bad spot. First of all, it's very client-sided. Second of all, I guess it's in a really bad spot. It's in my player controller, which also the aiming is also in my player controller, which is bad. It should be. Maybe it should stay in the player controller. Mm. I was thinking about maybe it should be in the uh, in the guns because only guns can be like aimed, right? So I think it maybe should be in my gun class. Like, look at all this stuff I'm doing in the update loop here. Really bad. Um, so here we go. Uh, hands, trigger, toggle hands, grab item, drop item. First of all, these can just be simpler if statements. I guess I'll clean this up. Um... <laughs> Right here, fire down, triggered, single shot. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm actually uh, using an invoke repeating to do multiple shots, which is okay, but I need to do this server side, not client side, because what it's doing is it's sending, for every shot, it's sending to the server to shoot, which is oh, a complete waste of... Uh, network calls. I should just be sending the server that I held down the fire button or let go of the fire button and control the rest server side, which I already started implementing. 
Now I need to finish it. Yep. So this most of this code needs to be moved server side. Let's do recoil, half stay client side. But this stuff here I need to move server side here. Let me read the chat here and then we'll start. When I export my server, then do I send shader errors in the server console? Do you know how to fix it? Yeah, are you making a server build there, Scrap? I hate those errors. I get I get shader errors too. And I haven't really found a way to fix them other than you can, for one, remove as many shaders as possible from the server project. Two, uh, all the ones that show up right at the beginning, I, I clear the console so they all just disappear instantly. And yeah, in terms of not showing them at all, uh, the other thing I do is I make any text that isn't debugged by me like a, a, a gray color so it's not as visible. But yeah, I know what you mean, Scrap, and they're annoying. Uh, what do you use for managing progress of the game? I think you just saw it, but Trello? Also, yeah, current recall is bad if you set sympathy to, I don't remember to what. You can cancel it out easily. Oh, you mean, oh, you must have been playtesting. Yeah, I don't know how, I need to rethink about how I'm doing the recoil. Right now I'm just moving the camera. Uh, you can cause problems on its own, maybe make it like burst. The recoil burst, you mean? Coding stream. Yes, Tom, we are coding. We just completely reworked my spawning system to account for team game modes and free for all game modes so that you spawn depending on what the game mode is so that not everybody's bunched up in free for all at the team spawns. 43 likes, oh yeah. Okay. In terms of the recoil system, I don't know what I, I have to look at that, improving it. I also want to make different recoil levels depending on whether you're aiming down sight or whether you're like walking or running, right? To make the aiming down sight more uh, appealing. Because I have recoil like in first person shooters like, uh, like Rainbow Six Siege where the recoil uh, moves your actual camera. Whereas CSGO, it doesn't move your camera, right? It just, the bullets go up higher. It's, it's independent from the camera. Anyways, so right now what I'm doing is really bad. I'm sending a network call every time you shoot, even in full auto, which is really bad. I should just be sending when you put the mouse down, when you put the mouse up, which I've already done actually. I just have to move the actual logic to use that. This is client side. Now let's go server side. And when I go to my gun, I have these things already set up. Look, left mouse button click, left mouse button, or right mouse button click, left mouse button unclick, right mouse button unclick. So I should be able to just use these bad boys to do the shooting. So, let's figure out how to do that. <laughs> right now. Let's try and get, let's start with single fire. Let's, let's try and get single fire working. So right now I'm doing it all uh, client side, uh, making sure the game isn't paused, making sure it's not doing auto, making sure the current MO is greater than one. Those are all accessible server side. This is not accessible server side, I believe. Although am I sending Ah, I'm already doing that. Uh, no, that's up here. Where am I sending whether I left click or not? Here. I'm only sending this if the game isn't paused, I think. No, I'm doing it every frame. Never mind. Oh, yeah, I am. Only if the game is not paused. So I already have that figured out. It's not sending those if the game is paused, which is like if you're in the in the pause menu. Uh, aim no, I'm on the right spot. This is accessible server side. Holding items accessible. All this stuff's accessible server side. So let's just do a big comment out here. Why oh, it's not letting me comment multiple lines? Oh my! Can you not do that in C sharp? I've been programming in Java a lot, and I'm able to do that in Java. So what's in this single shot method actually? 
where is it? It's down here somewhere. Set aim. Single shot. Do you do recoil equals true? Cancel the recoil reset. Send player shot. Shoot local. Hmm. So I do actually want to keep this for now, I think. Because I need to still do the shoot local stuff. But I want to not call the networking side this way. So I don't want to do this. Let's actually go to where that is. This goes down here. Yeah, calls this. Don't want to do that. Comment that out. What I need to do is just server side uh, project code. Left mouse button click. Should be able to just call shoot. Right now it's taking in. Am I even using view direction? Oh, I am. I'm not using the one that the client sends, though. I should be using what the server sees. Do you... Do you console command... Okay, uh, do your, Does your console commands work on Linux or only on Windows? When I saw your video, how you make console command, but it only works on Windows, and I'm... Yeah, it, it's glitchy on Linux. Uh, I have ha also had that issue. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I do have it working on Linux, but for some reason... The commands always want to happen at the very top of the console. <laughs> so I don't know how to explain what, I, what the problem is without showing you. But uh, it's glitchy on Linux still. Yeah, you're right. I do have the commands working on Linux though. It just doesn't do it in the right spot of the console. It doesn't do it right at the bottom. It for some reason always goes to the top of the console when I try to type a command. Where is this right now? This is never going to be called anymore. Don't need to know what client it is, right? What What is this using? It's going to be the person that's holding the gun, so I don't need this. Get out of here gives me a little bit of sh here so I need to know I need to look at this don't I just need to go what do you use to check if the player is sending the command as admin I check to see if they're uh, if they're Username matches, and their username is set server side through player token authentication, so it's secure. You can't fake your username. You can't send a fake username to the server in any way. It's hard to explain, but I use token validation to make sure that the user is authenticated and logged in with Firebase. And then Firebase only lets you register account with a unique username, so it's pretty secure. Uh, like here, if I just go to the network manager here, I have an array of uh, accounts that are admins. Uh, admin list. Oh, it, it's not populated. It's in uh, in the server settings only. Is it, oh, no, that's properties. Game server builds. I'm in the wrong thing here. Sorry. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Multiplayer game. Where is it? Come on. There we go. Admin list. Yep. So it loads a text file. Server side. So those are the two accounts with admins. And like I said, uh, you can't send a, a... Like you couldn't just send the server that this is your username. Because I use token validation. Don't accidentally leak something. Yeah, I'm not showing the code. <laughs> Uh, but it's, uh, it's server uh, authoritative anyway, so it doesn't matter. We can't get around it. There's a flaw. I don't know about it, so I can't leak it. 
what am I doing here? I want to know cam transform dot forward. So I should be able to just literally do this. Server side. Look rotation. What is look rotation? Transform. Yep. So I literally should be able to do this bad boy. Dot forward. That gets me the direction. Now from client, it should literally just be player hands dot ID. Or not. Wait, ID dot ID. Yep. Because that is the ID of the player holding this gun. So they're the one that's shooting it, right? Same here. Should be the player hands ID, which is the player that's holding this gun item. So just like that. Now, if I just call this in this bad boy instead, cross your fingers, it might just work. That simple. But we're about to find out. Play. Shh. No, don't shush. Play. He's making sure that I don't leak something. <laughs> Server started. Let's hold the client. Okay, we're in. Now, slash give myself a gun. Shooting works, and the old way was commented out. Oh wait, no, this is an automatic weapon, that's work, that's why. <laughs> Give myself zero, which is a pistol. It still works. And I'm gonna make sure I commented out the code. Yeah, I commented uh, uh no no no, I'm blind blind. Right here, yeah. So I commented out the part that sends it here. So that means this should be working via server side. actually this actually also uses it wait what why is the automatic uh oh something's still working here why is the automatic gunfire working oh so with the automatic gunfire it's actually only client side not actually shooting server side. Wait, let's go to slash map. Uh, oh wait, no. The only way to test it is to get another player in here. Let's do that then, actually. I just want to test this is working before I move on. So I need to build here. Let's build it. No, I didn't even realize it's showing notifications when people subscribe. Have you guys noticed that? Has that been happening often? I just saw that one. It just happened. I think that notification only pops up though for people that have their uh, subscriptions public. Who they subscribe to public. So unlike Twitch, where you can literally see when everybody follows, it's not the same for YouTube. Okay, let's go. Let's join. Oh no, what the heck. Why did it crash? I think it has something to do with the fact that the server was running. Kind of glitchy when the Unity editor's running, sometimes Firebase crashes the game. 
but it doesn't seem to uh, happen on the build, so it's, I think it's just a Unity little bug. Okay, let's do the client as well. Start the client. Join. Oh, crap. Yep. Well, that works. Yeah, let's see if it works here. Uh, only the pistol should work. The fully auto gun shouldn't work. Only the pistol should work. And uh, if the fully auto gun works, then I'm going to be confused. So, let's just hope that only the pistol works. It visually works, right? Because it's still client shooting client side, but the server side shooting should only be... We only set up the pistol, so only the pistol should be working. Destroying that bad boy. Give myself a pistol. It's working. Now let's give myself a... Uh, one. Yep, it's not working. Only the first shot works, because that's when the mouse goes down, right? But then the rest of the shots don't work because they're still being only done client side. Great. Well, you could hear the uh, the sound effect there. Uh, you want us to hear the um, the audio, the hit sound effect. Slash give zero. Oh, slash give zero. You can hear the sound effect of the bullet hits. Why is the audio so loud? It's kind of hard to test because I'm too still too close, but. You can only you can hear the sound of the bullets hitting the ground around you, which I think would be really nice when you're getting shot at from real far, because I found it was hard to to tell like that you're getting shot at. But now you can hear bullet sound effects. It's kind of hard to hear though. Um. Okay, so it's working. So let's just now we gotta remove we gotta move the rest of the code server side. Okay. Let's see here. Um, there he is. Oh, this is on the, I'm on the server, I'm so confused there. Okay, so it's doing this. Stop single share stop shot. Can you explain how you can only hit your own team and you can hit only the enemies? Uh that's a pretty simple check. Um player uh, where is it? Take damage by player. If it's a team game mode here, I just check. If it's a team game mode, I check to see if the player who's uh, who's shooting you is equal to your team. Just return. Don't don't do any damage. That simple. You should use a project cloner so you don't have to build every time. Yeah, I know somebody. I think was it you that told me that before. Somebody, somebody commented on one of my videos. I should do that. So yeah, I should. Um, so I still need to do this client side. I don't want to do it in the uh, in the player controller though anymore. So eventually, I'll move it to the gun script. But let's just get it working server side here first.
gun.auto is equal to true. Server. Yep, have a variable here to know whether it's auto or not. So on mouse click, if if auto will do something else. Else you do this. Else just shoot. Because it, otherwise it'll be sync fire, right? This is what we want to do right here. I start an invoke repeating of shoot of the fire rate, right? And we want to cancel that bad boy if if we get our fingers up. What does this do? Oh yeah, we want to do this. Cancel invoke. If left button unclick, if it's auto, we want to cancel it. And it's not called single shot, it's just called shoot. Go. Now, there's some other conditions here to stop single shot. If I'm in the pause screen, it stops it. We can test it here, but I have a feeling it's going to, certain conditions, it's not going to stop shooting. <laughs> As I'm thinking about it here, I have a feeling it's not going to stop shooting in certain situations here. Because client side, I have this other stop single shot down here. If it's not paused and if the ammo runs out. So I think, well, that, the ammo running out is one that I can do here. We need to do this. If we clear our hands, we need to stop shooting. If we run out of ammo, we need to stop shooting. Should be good. Let's try it. <laughs> that was in some deep thought there. Uh, parallel sync. Hello, uh, Nicola. 
What's up? We're just doing some coding. Or can I my multiplayer game? Should I learn Tom series first or Photon slash Mirror DSR with multiplayer? Uh, depends whether you want to just make a game or whether you want to understand what's happening in the back end with networking. If you just want to make a game, use Mirror Photon. If you want to understand how networking works behind the scenes, then maybe go through Tom's networking series and really like watch the video and try to understand exactly what he's saying. Uh, it's yeah look through the code yourself and try and understand exactly what's what stuff's doing uh slash give myself the automatic gun it's kind of a pain to test i do need to maybe try the what is it what you call parallel sync Is it play? Might have to give it a go. Not right now, though. But uh, here, I'll put this in. There, I'll leave the tab open. Uh, he is... is tough for learning since he flies through it. Yeah, he didn't really uh, explain it too much um, because he wanted the videos to be shorter, right? You really have to, yeah, you said it in your comment there, you really got to read through it and understand it yourself. You, you got to know how to code before following a tutorial like that. Um, just following it blindly is really not much it's not very helpful, right? You don't really learn much. You gotta kind of be able to understand it yourself. Um, yeah. What do I need to build the game? He is his new networking solution. He does plan on it, instead of he's not going to be explaining the networking side of it. He's just going to be explaining how to use it to make a game. As far as I know. Because Riptide is a lot more, uh, uh, the behind the scene co code is going to be hidden. It's closer to a mainstream stream uh, networking solution, which is cool. Yep. Okay. So if we get this automatic thing working, I think that'll be it for today. I'm actually going through it right now, trying to convert it to work with for VR. Cool. VR multiplayer game. That'd be cool. Out. The other annoying thing with testing with multiple clients is I gotta switch accounts every time. Oh crap, that's not the password for this account. There we go. What's your VR game about? Hey, I'm on top. Uh, Nicola? Is BR Battle Royale? Uh, yeah. 
think so. That's short form for battle royale. Oh, yeah, VR. He said, I was, yeah, I was confused why you were talking about Battle Royale. Hey, it's working. Working. Simple as that. Now that now that the codes move server side, I need to make these things delete themselves. Yeah, you can hear the hit sound effects there. Oh, I want to unmute the audio on the server <laughs> or on the or on the on the Unity build. But it's working good, I think. Okay. So now I just gotta clean up the client side code and put the I gotta move this junk into the gun script, I think, instead of this player controller script. Um yeah. Yeah. But I think I'll do that later. Because there's some things I, I need to do as I need to actually do object inheritance and add uh, I need to add uh, like I have on the server here these four methods for right mouse button left mouse button and click I need to add these four methods to client side too so the items can sense when you're clicking or do I I think I do because how does it sense when you click there up player hand uh, controls yeah I don't want to add this controls thing to the items yeah that doesn't make sense so yeah I have to do that I'll do that on my own though some other time but this code is still here on the client side for the visuals it still needs to be here but in terms of actual hit shooting logic it is now uh, being called sir it was always called server side but now it's actually being called uh, for the auto gun server side as well so instead of before where it was calling for every single shot it doesn't need to do that anymore it just calls when we hold the mouse button down and when we let go of it um, I'm sure there's some edge cases where the shooting doesn't stop but yeah I work in web dev and have only played around with Unity a little bit before, so my scope is maybe a bit too large, but hey, it's mostly for learning, and yeah, building a VR massive multiplayer RPG. Nice. Yeah, it's a big, big project. Just call, be called Hoggins. Did I say it right? Hoggins? Let me know if, it, if, uh, if I said it right. Hoggins or Nicola? Hi Zippy, hey Must Mustieva. How do you how do you may have make the server console commands? Uh, I use I, it's a reference. Oh, what is what is this? There's errors happening. Oh, it's because I changed scripts. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> how do I do the console commands? Um, I guess I can show that. I have console input script. Yeah, this handles the console input stuff. And then I have this uh, server console script, which kind of, I have. I basically have my own ha log handler for when I'm in the build where it does custom colors and stuff and yeah if it's in the editor it just does normal logs if it's in the build it does this console log input dot right line uh, where does it do it I actually know where it does it 
somewhere. Right here, I think. Uh, I don't even know actually where the input goes into the console. Oh, right here. Uh, oh, it's just for the input. Input. No, this is where it does it, I think. Anyways, I'm using... Uh, it's in the resources thing in my Discord server. The link to where I got the resource on how to do this is in my Discord resource channel somewhere. If you scroll up for a bit, probably you'll find it. Anyways, yep. I butchered mm, are they your first name. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm good at that. I'm good at butchering names. I said the second one perfectly. Nice. Nice. Finally, someone that didn't ask how my name is pronounced. Thank you, Zippy. Wait, did I say it right though? Mustavia. Must Mustavia. I don't know if I said it right. Okay, so that is now server side, and I think that's it for today. I've been going for three hours here. Let's just make sure that it's good. Uh, gun. Yep. Yep, yep. Let's just test it here for a minute. It's hard to test actually, because it's server side shooting. Oh man, I'm already on the server. Test at test.com. You're gonna go work on your project. See ya. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done anyways. Why is it not letting me join? What the heck? It already sees me in here. Uh, slash kick. Test. Oh, I kicked myself. I think it's because I, uh, I changed uh, code, so it broke the game, uh, and it didn't disconnect the player because I changed code. Well, the game was still running. Anyways, join, join here. Let's go see if we can see the fish on the, on the ship map. Capture the flag, ship, set, 200. Red team. Turn on the audio. Let's just look at the ship map here before I end the stream. Red team. Where did I put that fish? It was over here, I think. Hey, I can see it. There you go. There's the fish my girlfriend modeled. <laughs> now I just gotta make it move around. Probably a little bit less vibrant, too. Probably kind of looks like it's moving because of the water shader. And for some reason, Herb is still invisible. That's a weird lighting error. Um, is Herb still not there? Nope. Rip. Grab the flag. Grab. Run. Captured. Nice. I wonder, do I lose a point if I disconnect? Wait. And reconnect? Nope, oh, it keeps the points. Coolidge. Another thing I need to do is I need to make the scoreboard system more dynamic so you can, like, not just have kills and deaths, but you can have, like, you know, for, depending on the game mode, you can have how many flags you've captured, stuff like that as well on the scoreboard. Yep. But, I think this is it for today. Reloading still works.
Yeah, I have to do some testing with the shooting system to make sure it works. But I'll do that on my own because it's pretty tedious. Okay, so yeah, I think that was a good productive stream. I got uh, the spawn point system finished. I also started on fixing the Rico system, so we're another work session closer to the next playtest, which is cool. So yeah, I guess I'll just go back to here. Look, the chat's still, still there. Is it the newest chats? Yeah, it's the newest chats. Cool. But yeah, say your goodbyes because I am going to be heading out. I am going to be doing more schoolwork and trying to also work on the game when I can. But yeah. Make sure to join the Discord server if you are uh, want to join and see more frequent updates on the Discord server. Um, I'm about to go make a post about spawn point system because we finished that today and yeah bye yolo bye scrap bye mustaf mustafia i still can't say it right <laughs> bye jj bye play you join the discord yolo i'm about to go be active in the discord for a few minutes because you know i haven't talked in the discord for three hours so i should probably answer people and yep i will have a nice rest of my day Hopefully we can figure out why the uh, why the chat is all green. Oh yeah, I pointed directly to the right spot. Big thanks to all these people down here for their generous donations. And I will see you guys in the next stream whenever that will be. It's usually on Saturdays. Uh, usually every few weekends I stream, depending on how much schoolwork I have. So yeah, I guess uh, that's it for me. See you guys next stream. Bye-bye.